Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belonging to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence and double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach His truth well and that continue to teach His truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe. And to the few, the very few brothers and you sisters that are listening and still learning across the globe. This is going to be based on sin. It's going to be, really it's going to be based on those that were, thought they were holier than die. Okay, because what you're going to find out in this truth is, it's like of, um, you have those that have that wolf pack mentality. When you're in this truth, you're so busy with trying to um, work on yourself and also help brothers out. But you ain't got the time to search for iniquity. You ain't got the time to do that. But that's what the Pharisees were doing. Let's go to Luke, Baba Kasha 8, 18. And we're going to see the difference. This is Luke 18 and 10. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee. Okay. The Pharisees were what? Doctors of the law. And the other a publican. Publican. Today be known as what? Your modern day tax collector, your bailiffs. That's what they call it in the UK. I don't know what you call it in um the US. Okay. So this was a Pharisee and you had a publican tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. Most high, I thank thee. But I am not as other men. Like extortioners. Extortioner is basically um a publican as well, would be classed as an extortioner, you know? You don't pay, they break your legs or something, or take what you've got. Extortioners, unjust, adulterers, okay, sleeping with an next man woman, or even as this publican. So this guy was very, he had a very um, heady, high-minded mentality. Okay, he thought, he, he already thought he had it. I fast twice in a week. I give tithes of that all I possess. So he fasts all he uses or fast and he gives tithes. He, it sounds like he's blowing his own trumpet. And the publican standing afar off. And why was the publican standing afar off? Hmm? Due to what? Sin? Due to being contrite? Would not lift up so much his eyes. He wouldn't even lift up so much his eyelids. So that means he obviously probably had his head down to the what the ground. Unto heaven, but smote upon his breast. Okay, slammed his um, hand up on his chest, saying, The Most High, be merciful to me, a sinner. Verse 14, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Why? Because he was in the right spirit. He acknowledged his sin. For everyone that exhorted himself, and the other, he didn't go back home justified. Because he said, well, well, I'm not like this guy. I'm not an extortioner. It's the same in his truth. You may, example, you may look at a man and say, well, this man was a, this man was a thief. This man was an adulterer. But what were you doing in the world? You were doing something. You were doing something. Okay, you probably were an idolater. You probably were an idolater. Okay, Worship, um, visiting this place, visiting that island, why? Because you, you think it's beautiful. Well, you're an idolater. You're an idolater. You were doing something in the world. Don't fool yourself. And this, is, this is one thing you, well, a spiritual man will notice in the truth. That's why I don't roll with that spirit. As much as I'm on the highways and byways, guess what? I'm hoping to be saved. Well, obviously, yeah, we, we curse our people out, but it's not to be like, oh, I'm holy than die. A lot of men don't understand what this truth is about. 
For everyone that exhorted himself shall be a base. So those that are ex exhorted on this side, they've already received their consolation, but they're going to be abased in the kingdom. And he that humbleth himself shall be exhorted. So those that are being humbled, humiliated on this side, you see, you see, you see, you see how it works. They're going to, they're going to be exalted in the kingdom, because all the elect, they're, they're of the elect. But you're gonna have levels, even to even to the elect. You're living it up now. If this is your world now, see to the Pharisees, this was their world. This was their world. That's why it says, "Woe to you that have received your consolation." Bear me just a minute. Wrong spirit to be in. Let's go to First John one and eight. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. You know what? You know what? You know what? Bear me just a minute. Yeah, let's go to First John one and eight. Baba Kasha. The long, the longer you're in this truth, the more like the more you realize. You're wretched and you're just you're you're just the mercy of Yahweh that's what it's all down to. Okay. But you're still walking up confidence. But you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for every single day Yahweh is showing you signs that he's with you. So yeah, you're supposed to have that type of confidence. He doesn't want you to go out there with no confidence, no belief. But men are threatened by that. Oh no, you know, he's confident, uh I'm not confident. Well, he shouldn't. Well, bro, that's your problem. That's between you and Yahweh Shai. You ain't gonna stop the Alex charge. You ain't gonna stop that. Okay. You ain't gonna stop the look. There's nothing. You, look, you ain't gonna stop the elect. Have already been set up to be the elect. There's nothing you can do to stop it. What don't you understand? Huh? Esau, the other nations, and you wicked ass Negroes, you Pharisees. You're not going to stop the charge of the Most High's elect. Whatever you do, it's, it's not going to work. Let's go to First John, Baba Kashal, First John 1. And... Bear me just a minute. 8. Let's start at 7. But if we walk in the light as he is the light, Yahawashai, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Mashiach, his son, cleanses us from all sin, not some sin. That's the, expert, that's the hope of the elect. That's why we do what we do. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. You see how this precept links up with what Luke 8, 18, what we just went into. That individual said, well, um, thank God I'm not like this sinner. I'm not like this publican. I give, um, I give, you know, I give, um, you know, I pay tithes, I fast. So if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. That means you're only deceiving yourself. If you say you're only deceiving yourself and the truth is not in her, so that means the truth wouldn't be in you. If you say you have no sin, why did you come into the truth then? <laughs> why are you in the truth if you don't have no sin? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins. So that's why I don't trip. I don't get all discombobulated. Oh, what did this guy, he doesn't think I'm a man or not. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because Yahweh will show you. He was showing Jeremiah, he was showing Isaiah, he was showing the prophets that he was with them. He was showing them signs. Okay? But that's for, through confession. You need to confess sins. You confess to who? Yahweh Shai. Okay? Not to the Pharisees. You don't confess your sins to the Pharisees that are holier than die, wicked as hell. He is faithful and just to forgive our sins. You hear that? Faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us. From all unrighteousness. Why are men bringing up these scriptures? If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar. So basically, you're making Yahweh a liar because you've got men pushing up the narrative. Oh, and, uh, if you ask me, if you ask me and or this brother, nobody's got anything bad to say about us. Yeah, because you're wicked. Because <laughs> you're downright wicked. That's why. So basically, what you're saying in a, in a, in a pretty much way is you have no sin. So if we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar. And the word is not in us. So Yahweh is not in you. If you have not sinned, he's not in you. For for you for you to have faith in Yahweh, you would need to acknowledge you have shit sin. Okay. 
You would need to acknowledge that. Because if you didn't have no sin, that means you're perfect. You can save yourself. But you can't. So it's, it would behoove you what to humble down. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 20. Real, real, real um, dangerous spirit to be in. Real dangerous. And you make yourself look like a, a damn right fool when you do that. Okay? Make your, you make yourself look simple. Okay? Like when someone asks you, oh, what, why are you in prison? Uh, I just ended up here. Now there's a reason why you're in prison. People ask you that when you're in prison. What, why, why was you in prison? You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just here. Now don't lie. Okay. Tell the truth. Don't put on an act. Ecclesiastes 7 and 15. That's why your words don't mean nothing around here. Okay. They don't mean anything. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 20. For there is not a just man upon earth. And that word for just is righteous man upon earth. No, there is. There is. We're going to finish it. That do if good and sin if not. It says, for there is not a just man. It doesn't mean there is not a just man on earth. Because the scriptures tell you there's just men, righteous men. <laughs> okay. It says there's not a just man upon earth that do if good and sin if not. So there's just men on the earth, righteous men. But guess what? They go off in the flesh. Okay, it doesn't mean there's no just man because I'm having videos. If there's no just now, there's just men up on the earth that do with good and sin if not. So, yeah, there's men that what that are just and they go off because if that wasn't the case, and you would not have a, such a thing as what temptation, what's temptation, a trial of faith. What I want brothers to understand is look, this whole journey is about tests, trials of your faith. Are you still going? If you're still going, man, shit, I ain't mad at you. Keep going, keep pushing. You understand? So with this lesson, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut off here, and until the next time, shut a to the hopeful elect. Shut a